Hello, I'm Jerry Fort. Going to review a Smart Ones. I found one I haven't done yet. I've done like 21 different ones of these. If I if I saw correctly when I brought it up, I was looking to see if I'd done this one, and and I have not done this one. Uh, so this is the Homestyle Beef Pot Roast. It says with carrots, potatoes, green beans, onions, and gravy. 190 calories, 18 grams of protein. The beef in this dish is an excellent source of protein, in case you didn't already know that. What else does it say here? Um, total fat, 4 grams. Saturated fat, 1.5 grams. Cholesterol, 60 milligrams. Sodium is 490 milligrams. Total carbs are 19 grams. Dietary fiber, 3 grams. Total sugar is 4 grams. Includes 1 gram added sugar. And then protein, eight, 18 grams. I think, yeah, mentioned some of this stuff on <clears throat> the front there. Ingredients. So, the cooked seasoned beef pot roast dices and binder product has beef, beef, beef broth, modified food starch, soybean oil, salt, dextrose, sodium phosphate, caramelized sugar, spice extractives and the sauce is just water um modified food starch tomato puree paste tomato paste no yeah burgundy wine reduced sodium soy sauce water wine vinegar wine vinegar Yeast extract, dehydrated garlic, some spices, exanthem gum, cane syrup solids, maltodextrin, barley malt extract, dehydrated onion, potato flour, carrots, roasted red potatoes, green beans, onions, contain soy and wheat. Looks good, doesn't it? <clears throat> Supposedly it's supposed to be healthy for you, so... Get this off here and take a look. Let's break it down. Doesn't look too bad. Looks looks pretty good. There goes my paper towel roll. It actually looks just like just like the picture. There's pretty good sized pieces of, or chunks of potato. Some pretty good pieces of beef. There's some um, green beans in there, some carrots. Um, supposedly there's some onion down in there, I think. Looks like it already has a little black powder on it. Black pepper, sorry, black powder. <laughs> Thinking it'll blow up first, my first bite. <clears throat> smells really good has a nice aroma <clears throat> getting the beef in there some of the gravy with that garlic in there okay let's take a look here my nose is starting to itch some of these products have stuff in them that makes my nose itch I don't know what it is, but these potatoes look good. They do have their skins on them, but I'm sure they're easily cut off. Yeah. Nice flavor on the potatoes. Uh, actually have a real nice um, natural potato taste. Like, like you've taken a potato, you've skinned it, and you have just taken a bite of it. And it kind of has that kind of a taste. Let's check out some of these beef, beef tips or whatever they are. <clears throat> 
see if they're tender. Wow. I just took two bites. I just stabbed two pieces of the beef. No fat in those at all, and they were very tender. So I'm pretty impressed right now. Let me get some carrots. Okay, you, you can get the carrot aroma. Sometimes they're really hard to pick up the, the smell of a carrot. <clears throat> Yeah, okay. Like the potatoes, they have a nice natural carrot taste. Like you've just been into it raw. Has a little sweetness to it. Both of the bites I'm getting, I'm getting some of the gravy, the beef gravy that's in there. Um, but yeah, really nice. See how these green beans are. Sometimes they can be rubbery. Um, Okay. Um, they have like a crunchiness to them, like like um, not fully cooked through to the point where they're just like when you get canned green beans, they're really soft, right? And when you cook them in the pan, whatever, they're really soft. These have a natural kind of a outer skin kind of crunch to them, like they're you know, really, really fresh. Um, very flavorful. Green bean taste. Nice. Yeah. Um, this is a very impressive little meal here. Very impressive. Wow. Um, let's see. Try a few things, won't you? Got some saladitas, crackers. Try scooping a little bit of this up. It's kind of not really soup like, but <clears throat> I'm sure it'll taste good with the cracker. Somebody out there likes eating beef stew with crackers. Because nobody's the same. Hmm. Mm-hmm. That's good. How about some bimbo, bimbo bread? This, now bread is something that you would find me doing more with. Taking out, I'm gonna, I'm gonna just gonna use the heel. Okay? So, I like just take, taking a piece of bread. Just, just like the bread 
fold it it's like it's got a mouth right it's <laughs> this bread's gonna take a big old bite of my of my stew here and it's gonna pick it up kind of make a little sandwich with it plus this gravy soaking into the bread Mm-mm. Uh-oh. I hate that I found out. Wow. I guess every piece can't be perfect. A whole, a whole piece of beef that I just, just got, took a bite of was all fat and gristle. Every bit of it. So that, yeah, that was disappointing. Um, oh, shoot. Okay, let me see here. This piece has a, a, like a, the piece, of, it's got a, a piece of fat on it that's bigger than the meat that it's connected to. I wasn't sure if that was fat. I had a, I had a, <clears throat> I had a suspicion that it was. Okay, so I'm going to have to look this over just a little bit more. My bimbo bread is soaking up all this gravy in here. I'm seeing some more pieces in there that are probably going to be fat. I'm really hungry. Excuse my ravenous actions. Please. <clears throat> okay, let's see. Let's see here. Yeah, this piece here. You see that? Good indication that it's fat. Or at least part of it is. gristle and fat. Okay, this piece here. Okay, that piece is good. This one, this one here looks So tell me, is fat and gristle good for you? I know some fat is because it it can be beneficial, I think, to um, protect your heart or something. But too much is not good. So in a meal, <clears throat> like a smart ones, let's just consider a, a health type meal because it's lower calories I, I, I believe so you're trying to get people to to like these and to want to buy them um, to to be healthy and you're gonna throw pieces of fat in there and gristle I don't think that's a very good way to get people to buy your products <clears throat> these pictures here I don't see a piece on the picture that indicates that they're that they're fat and gristle. They look like nice, you know, nice pieces of beef. So this is, you know, this was this was a five until I found that 
that whole piece was fat and gristle and then I'm finding others in there. Just a really, really disappointed. Um, if I only would have found one piece, I would have just took off one point. But there's many pieces in here that are fat and gristle. So, <clears throat> I'm going to take off. It definitely has one off right now. Um, I'll take off another one. I'll give them a three. That's still a decent score. May not even be deserving of that. Um, but um, those pieces were good. I just took two, by the, another two pieces. Anyway. There you go. I was going to try some, some Mariscara Black El Yucateo, but kind of after I started finding pieces of gristle and fat in there, I kind of lost the mood to try some of that on, on here, but I'm going to do it anyway. This seems like one that would be good in this kind of food. Excuse my choking. That mariscara black just went down my throat. <clears throat> I was not ready for that. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna have to put that put a warning in the <clears throat> in the description that says warning. Uh, <clears throat> Jerry chokes on hot sauce put that in there <laughs> all right well thank you for watching i appreciate it this is it tastes good what wasn't gristle and fat but yeah thanks for watching appreciate it see you on the next one <clears throat> bye